me, that's like ain't some candy. Nigga, this shit ain't help. Nigga, hold your text on. We got Anasaz, man. Anasaz, this pedo cop who ruined his life by grooming minors. I don't know, I just clicked it. I just, I just clicked it, bro. I, I, I just, shit. You gotta pay some bills, huh? You gotta pay some bills. You gotta, <laughs> gotta pay some bills, bro. I mean. <clears throat> No, that's Snapchat. No. Not recently. Not recently. The details he goes into with regard to his points that he is trying to engage in with young are just despicable. I've never seen a more despicable set of facts as I've seen in this case. There are things that you do not expect from someone who's supposed to be upholding the law. But this sheriff's city decided to his position of power by preying on young girls. However, his predatory behavior would not stay hidden for long. Lear, who surrendered to authorities Wednesday, now faces 15 felony charges. So, Damn. what really happened? And how did he find himself on the other side of the law? 15 Let felony us hear the case yeah. of the who ruined his life by killing minors. My scene is Jalen Devin Lear was a 27-year-old mm. San Diego County Sheriff who seemed to have it all together. He was a star athlete in high school pitching for the San Diego Storm and later playing football for Grossmont College. I did Grossmont College for a little bit, played baseball there. Um, and got a job here. Worked at Dick's Sporting Goods before this, um, so it's my second job. So I worked in with this department for coming up on five years now. At the time of the incident, Jalen had been working <laughs> as a correctional officer for just over five years. He had also just gotten married to his childhood sweetheart and was expecting his first child. So everyone who knew him thought that he was a pretty decent guy. But secretly, Jalen Fleer was living a double life, one that would leave everyone shocked and disgusted. He played sports. He was, you know, kind of one of the guys, like, hung out. You, you just something you would never expect. On April 9th, 2020, the San Diego County Crime Stoppers received anonymous tips about an unidentified man who allegedly engaged in intimate relations with a young girl. An investigation was launched, and soon enough, they were able to identify the man in question Hi, as yo. none other than Jalen Fleer. Um, to share your side of the story with us, of course, in regards to the, um, the report that we're investigating, okay. you're not under arrest and you are not being detained. Yep. During questioning, Jaylene was very open about his life and his job, telling the interrogator everything that she needed to know. Married? How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, married. Recently got married this last year in September. Okay. Uh, we have a kid doing what in August. Oh, okay. Boy, girl. What? He talked about his wife and the new baby. Y'all let me know some new videos to do, too. I got, I, got couple, I got a couple new videos in my vault I got to do. And I'm doing. But on the way saying that he was excited about becoming a new dad he said that he had known his wife since preschool but they started dating after college yeah we met preschool went oh ways. what a typical love story uh, met her back in high school things like i was trying to date her but she was playing playing it hard to get again <laughs> um then college came around tried again and actually ran into her in pv like flew up about three years ago the interrogator sounds nice and friendly asking general questions that will keep him talking this is a clever tactic to make him feel comfortable and like he was just chatting with a friend so that he could lower his guard and say something incriminating. And I hear your schedule recently changed. How do you feel about schedule change? Yeah. Seven, 12 and a half in a row. Kills you. Seven off is nice, but it flies by, so. Yeah, and then the seven drag. This next question about his recent work schedule was to establish a pattern and collaborate on what the investigators already knew about the timeline of events. Um, so, um, how about social media? Are you active on social media at all? Uh, Facebook and Instagram. Um, had Snapchat back in the day, got rid of that with my wife. I got caught in the academy with her and stuff, some stuff, but. Hmm. Yeah. Can you tell me about that or? Um, I mean, it was with another recruit in the academy, but. Okay. So you're um, communicating with another recruit? I was back in, I stopped. Everything got cut off. Jalen was very open. Hi. These guys really don't want to pay me, man. <laughs> How they got them ads? Man, about 50 motherfucking ads, bro. The more ads. 
come on these, the more ass y'all gonna, gonna get for me. All the details to his social media account. What's your Facebook? Not even playing. Did the fault see you? Just like Jalen. Okay. Up until this point, Jalen probably didn't know what this was about because the investigation was pretty private. But now he was starting to get suspicious. Can I ask what this is about? Yeah, so we're looking into some allegations that were made. We're kind of, it, it started with a Crime Stopper report, so we're just kind of okay. going from there. Um, uh, we did receive um, a picture um, that, um, you know, when we looked into it, it looks similar to you. So I don't know yeah. if you can take a look at the picture and just tell me if you've seen this picture before. Oh, I have like 15 million things here. Where a picture? Okay. Where's a picture? So this picture right here. Uh oh Yeah, that's definitely me. Yeah, it's a gross one. Okay. Although he admitted to being the person in the picture, the interrogator wanted to make sure that no one else could have had access to it. Have you ever used this picture on any social media site? Um, I think it was Snapchat back in the day, yeah. Okay. Back in the day. Have you ever shared this picture with anybody on Snapchat? Um, yeah, probably my wife, to be honest. Um, I mean, obviously I talked to other girls back in the day too, but... It's, I can't remember. Okay. Um, if you had to guesstimate how many times you may have shared the photo, how many times? So that one, maybe just a couple times, once or twice. As the interrogator finally reveals the real reason for the questioning, you can see Jalen's entire demeanor change, and he starts to get uncomfortable. Yeah, we're investigating allegations that were made that you were communicating with a younger female on Snapchat, and potentially some material might have been shared. Okay. Um, some photos, some images, stuff like that. So. We, of course, want to be able to hear what happened from your side, if that in fact did occur, or if it didn't occur. Now realizing where this is going, he asks if he should have a lawyer present. But the interrogator reassures him that he is not under arrest and they are just investigating some allegations. This seems to put him back at ease. He admitted that before he got married to his wife, he was talking to several girls on Tinder, but claimed that all the girls he met were over 18 years old. Then the interrogator asked him about certain pictures that he denied sending to a younger girl. So, I mean, I met girls on Tinder and stuff back in the day. And yes, yeah, some safe stuff, but I don't know who would save a picture like that. And maybe, yeah, it was safe. Not that one. And there's nothing wrong with this photo, right? It's just- No, it, I agree. I just, I don't know how it would get in the hands of a younger person. There were also some conversations that were exchanged between you and this person. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I haven't talked to anybody younger though. No, on Snapchat? No. Not recently? Not recently, no. Despite him continuously denying ever talking to or meeting with an underage girl, there was evidence showing otherwise. Now, you said all of your social media accounts are private, right? Yeah. And I know you're a long time, so I know that you've also taken the time to make your plates confidential. I mean, back in the day, I don't think my current ones are, though. Um, I mean, obviously, they're on your plates. <laughs> so you're still driving the Ford Fusion? Yeah. And it's, is it black or gray? It's gray. The interrogator mentioned that the social media account they were investigating contains some information about Jay Leg, <laughs> including his new work schedule, his high school, and his that college. That nigga like Martin Zuckerberg. I ain't gonna even care. So is there any reason why the person would I ain't gonna just like Martin Zuckerberg on that their, you, their view and share your information? Sounds like it'd be someone that knows me then. He denied that the account was his, claiming that someone who knew him might have set it up using his information. Shared any images of your penis with anyone? Yeah. And how many times did you say? I know I did. A lot. Can you kind of explain that a little bit more to me? I mean, a lot. My, my ex girlfriend, mm -hmm. Dr. Day Center and stuff. Yeah. Girl. You know, I'm sure you know what Center is. High school. Oh man, I ain't had. See, I ain't had Tinder when I was in high school. I ain't had to do all that. You feel me? I just had ribs like that. No, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? It's a, it's a natural thing. It started out as a friendly interview turned serious when the interrogator presented a search warrant. The warrant um, does allow us uh, to grab some DNA swabs from you. Okay. Um, as well as uh, any mobile devices that might be in your possession 
I will potentially need your locker. Do you have your personal phone with you here? I do have them. Jalen Fleer was then put on desk duty as investigators continued, but it would not be long before the disturbing details about his disgusting my black behavior guy. would be revealed to the public. Oh, shit. Fleer, who surrendered to authorities Wednesday, now faces 15 felony charges, including acts with a I person was 14. 15 years old, luring a minor to commit a offense, or population with a person under 16, and sending obscene material to use a minor. So it turned out Jalen had not just been talking to young girls on social media, but he had been meeting up with them and doing some despicable acts with them. In one of the incidents reported by Crime Stoppers, Jalen picked up a 14-year-old girl, who he referred to as Jane Doe One, from her home, drove her to a nearby parking lot, and had her perform four copulations on him for $100. The prosecution said that Jalen contacted about 41 girls between the ages of 9 and 14 40. on Snapchat during a two-week period. On Vigo, you can watch the freshest content from the coolest streamers. This nigga was doing this shit four times. Right, no way. Oh my God. How many years did he got? In March and April of 2020. In his Snapchat messages, he would use graphic language and send explicit pictures of himself, offering to pay money to be with the girls. The detail he goes into with regard to his exploits that he is trying to engage in with young children are just despicable. He tells multiple 12 year old girls. Do you have any younger friends who are interested in older men? I'll give you money to hook me up with them. The younger they are, the better. How despicable is that? And he never even bothered to hide his identity. According to the prosecution, he identified himself as a sheriff's deputy to some of the girls and even sent photos of himself in uniform. The prosecution said that many of the victims were afraid to speak up because he was the officer. You're supposed to be held to a higher standard, and it just seems a little weird that, you know, we're allowing those type of people to get into positions of power. Can you imagine how shocked his wife must have been to find out that the man she married and the father of her unborn child was a predator? I mean, she had known him her entire life and probably would never have imagined him doing something so awful. His former schoolmates were just as shocked. It hits close to home. It's not one of those things you see very often around here in the community. Following his arrest, the sheriff's department released a statement saying, Even though the allegation had nothing to do with Fleer's duty as it, they were so serious that all peace officer authority was taken away from him. We hold all of our deputies to the highest standards and will hold deputies who violate the law accountable. Initially, Jalen pleaded not guilty to the 15 felony charges. I bet he motherfucker. Do you understand that you are to have no contact with these three people? That means you cannot harass, threaten, assault, or sexually or otherwise, follow, stalk, molest, destroy, or damage personal real property, disturb the peace, keep under surveillance, or block movements of these three people. This court hearing was set for July 2020, but in June, he changed his mind and pleaded guilty to all charges. During the sentencing hearing, the prosecution asked for a maximum sentence of 17 years, saying that Jalen carried out his crimes with planning, sophistication, or professionalism, and that he took advantage of a position of gave trust his, uh, 20. confidence by making it known to the victims that he was a law enforcement what? officer. That? On the other hey, hand, you, the defense asked for leniency, saying that Jalen had no criminal record and had accepted the responsibility for his actions. The defense went on to argue that Jalen was sincerely remorseful for his actions and had agreed to enroll in a treatment program to begin what is going to be a long path to recovery and rehabilitation to ensure he never puts himself and more importantly, anyone else in harm's way again. Mr. Fleer and his wife were expecting the birth of their first child. The child was going to come any day. And Mr. Fleer, without hesitation, said I'm ready to surrender. They requested a prison term of nine years and four months. The judge called Jalen a sexual predator to young teenage and pre-teenage girls, saying that his behavior was devastating and despicable. I have never seen a more despicable set of facts as I've seen in this case. Despite this, he noted the character letters that had been submitted on Jalen's behalf 
saying that he was a pretty decent man and a caring individual I'm who okay. served the community as I a don't deputy care. sheriff. He put all this into consideration before I'm sentencing Jalen a... to a total of 12 years in prison. A former San Diego sheriff's deputy is heading to prison for more than a decade after being sentenced this afternoon for underage girls. After the sentencing, the prosecution would reveal even more disturbing information to show just how sick this guy truly was. He had asked her about soliciting younger friends, and she mentioned a nine-year-old friend. Um, you know, the defendant got excited about that prospect and tried to convince her to talk her nine-year-old friend into having a three with him. What do you think about... What the hell, man? Hey, man. This nigga all got 12 years. This shit I be talking about. I would have gave that motherfucker 20. And you one of us too, motherfucker? I would have gave that bitch elite good at like 20. Sorry, 15. That man said, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. See, I'm going to do another video for the post after I do away, get done. For the post, I'm going to do three videos. So, no bitch going to be dropping. I'm going to go edit the first video and then drop the motherfucker. But that man said, give y'all, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. See, I'm going to do another video. Let ride, nigga. <sighs> give away five. <laughs>